monkeys have been implanted with human brain genes and there have been shocking results. Uh, well, recently we know that the macaque monkeys were cloned five times, uh, five generations of monkeys, and they did that, they claim, in order to find out about sleep. They wanted to uh, use them for sleep research. And uh, this is getting more astonishing every time. Uh, th there should be some kind of law against this, but uh, anyway, this is by Rachel Russell on Express UK. Monkeys have controversially been implanted with genes of the human brain, and they did this in order to see if their memories and their reaction speeds would improve. Scientists at the Kunming Institute, again, these are Chinese scientists, they, they were the ones that... Uh, uh, did CRISPR alterations in two twin girls a couple of months back, remember? Well, again, this is the Kunming Institute of Zoology and the Chinese Academy of Sciences. They worked with U.S. researchers in the University of North Carolina, and they inserted human version of MCPH1 into the brains of 11 rhesus monkeys. The gene is developed to help developed the human brain and the results, which were published last month in the Beijing-based journal National Science Review, showed that the brains did perform better in short-term memory tests and their reaction times were quicker than the wild monkeys that did not have this uh, change done to their brains. But the tests have raised ethical concerns as only five of the monkeys survived, and they did not grow bigger brains. Jacqueline Glover, the University of Colorado bioethicist, compared the study to dystopian sci-fi film Planet of the Apes. She said to MIT Technology Review, quote, to humanize them is to cause harm, end quote. Now, she says, where would they live and what would they do? Do not create a being that cannot have a meaningful life in any context. So these monkeys were implanted with a gene believed to help develop the human brain. And only five of the monkeys survived. Larry Baum, the researcher at Hong Kong University Center for Genomic Sciences, was not convinced by this comparison, though. He said, the genome of rhesus monkey differs from ours by a few percents. That's millions of individual DNA bases different between humans and monkeys. This study changed a few of those in just one of about 20,000 genes. You can decide for yourself whether there is anything to worry about. Mr. Baum added that the study showed slower maturity of brain cells might be a factor in improving intelligence during human evolution. What is he trying to say concerning that? He wants to make uh, sure that the, the, show, the brains slow, have a slower maturity in order to improve, improve intelligence in humans. I'm afraid to ask, really. I don't understand where all this research is going to. There has to be limits put on these things. Now, the authors of this journal wrote, Our findings demonstrated that transgenic non-human primates, excluding ape species, have the potential to provide important and potentially unique insights into basic questions of what actually makes humans unique. Well, we know we're unique, so why do you have to go putting human cells into animals, making them what? Part human. This is ridiculous. Anyway, I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. 
Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.